Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Now, yesterday I talked about how Florida State could beat LSU. This time it's about LSU, how they could beat Florida State. The first thing I noticed about Florida State this past year was their struggles against the run, against a good team. Oklahoma, not even a good team, but a team with talent that can put it together and run the ball good. Like Oklahoma, uh, Florida uh, ran the football very good on Florida State. Clemson with Will Shipley, they ran the ball really well on Florida State. Um, really those three games, but they were pretty good teams or teams that had good talent and had a good offensive line. So if I'm LSU, I'm going to do a lot of running the football against Florida State. I'm going to try to test that middle of that defensive line like a lot of those teams did because Florida State was good against the pass, but their run defense was not very good, at least for the most part this past season. Now they look good against other teams like Miami, um, uh, LSU from, from, from last year. Because they weren't really as much of a running team outside of the quarterback with the scrambles. But if LSU can establish a good running game against Florida State, they have a really good chance to open up the passing game. Because I don't think they can block Florida State up front as far as pass protection. But they are good enough to hold up for slants, screen passes, uh, short routes for the receivers. And then get Florida State to load the box after a while to where you can do a play action or throw it deep downfield with your receivers. I do think LSU can do that. Uh, offensively. Defensively, LSU has got to bottle up Jordan Travis like they did last year. They can't let him run out on the perimeter. You cannot let him run up the middle of the field. You got to keep him contained. I think LSU can do that. I don't think they're going to sack Jordan Travis and make him look really bad, but they're good enough to stop the explosive plays because Florida State was really good with explosive plays last year. Again, uh, bottling up Jordan Travis is the key to winning this game for LSU defensively. Um, you got to shut down FSU's run game. They had a pretty good run game last year for the most part. But if you look back at the Oklahoma game, Oklahoma was a seven-loss team, but they led the Big 12 in tackles for losses, and they were good at stopping the run. Florida State did get over 100 yards rushing at one point in the game. But for the most part, even on third down and short, fourth down and one, they went and ran the football. They got stopped several times. So LSU, I know, is bigger and more powerful than Oklahoma along the defensive front. So if they can do that to Florida State and hold them to punts or let them be unsuccessful going for it on fourth down doing that, they can win the game. Um, that's my key to those are... Um, this video is a little shorter because they, in my eyes, they still have the more talented team than Florida State does. But in my eyes, all they got to do is play a perfect game. Again, um, short passing routes, screen passes, small things to help Jaden Daniels establish a decent passing game. But don't be one-dimensional. Run the football. Again, good uh, teams that were not great on paper ran the ball on Florida State. They ran it down Florida State's throat. So if you you guys can do that, you have a chance to win the game. And um, I do think Florida State's going to bottle up Jaden Daniels and keep him from running all over them like he did last year because that was really their only offense for the most part. Um, but doing that, you still open up the running game. You open up play action. You open up slants and the other short passes that I keep talking about. And you make Florida State crowd the box up and load up the box and make them blitz a lot to where you can have your guys wide open and make explosive plays. Um, <clears throat> I would also look out for potential blocked field goals, blocked punt attempts from Florida State. Florida State has been pretty decent on special teams in certain big games, in all big games. North Carolina 2020, they blocked a punt. Georgia Tech in uh, Norvell's first game, they blocked a field goal and an extra point or something like that, right? They did plenty of that. So they're no stranger to special teams making plays on special teams. So if LSU can do all those things and shut and stop, FSU from running the ball, keep Jordan Travis in check, limit his big play making ability, they win the game. It's that simple.